Brett on base is heading to a 10 plus billion dollar market cap this cycle, and there's nothing that anyone can do to stop it. And if you haven't looked at the Brett charts recently and you are a Brett holder, I think you're going to be very happy with what you see. Quick look at the DEX tools here, and we can see that Brett is trading at a $913 million market cap, surpassing its all time high of an $850 million market cap back at the end of March. And look at this wild statistic almost 300,000 holders in a little over three months since launching. Now, I can't sit here and guarantee that Brett will 10x from here and reach a $10 billion market cap. I can't guarantee that, but I can give you a few reasons of why I think it's possible. Most of you guys and most people in the world have now heard about Pepe on the Ethereum blockchain. Pepe is part of the Matt Fury's Boys Club comic book, and it just reached an all-time high over a $7.13 billion market cap this weekend. And when we look at the characters in the Boys Club, who do we see? We see Wolfie, Andy, Pepe, and Pepe's best friend, Brett. So Brett already has that built-in narrative because it's part of the Boys Club, and it's Pepe's best friend. And on top of all that, they were one of the first meme coins to launch on base and have shattered every record on the base chain. Fastest token to 100,000 holders to 200,000 holders and will be the fastest token to 300,000 holders on the base chain. It shattered every record when it comes to market caps as well. Fastest token to 100 million market cap, 500 million. And again, I do believe that they will be the first token on the base chain to reach a 1 billion plus market cap. I'm incredibly bullish on the base chain and I don't even believe that the base bore run has started yet. Now that's the meme, that's the narrative. Obviously it's great, but let's talk about the development team for a second. Brett was just listed on another centralized exchange this morning as P2B announced the Brett listing. And this will now bring the total to 22 central exchanges, and they have some massive exchanges like Poloniex, Bybit, Femex, and Gate.io. It seems like everyone in the crypto space is talking about Brett, and now we're starting to see major news publications talk about the chosen crypto on the base chain. Benzinga just put out this article this morning, in which the title says, Can Brett Become the Shiba Inu of the Base Blockchain? They interview Crashes Clay in this article. It's a fantastic read, so I highly recommend everybody to check it out. And lastly, another reason why I think that Brett will reach a 10 plus billion dollar market cap, and guys, I have a laundry list of reasons, is because they are crushing the social media game. They post incredible funny memes here on X like this one and they're very consistent with their posting. And when we take a look over on IG where they're doing a lot of good work, you can see that they've built an account with 18.2 thousand followers. And look at some of the viewership on some of these reels, 159,000 views, 89,000 views, and 96.4 thousand views. Good memes will win in the long run. That's how people like to consume news, consume media, and Brett is doing a fantastic job. So Brett is quickly approaching a 1 billion plus market cap. And I believe that we will see this happen sometime in June. And it just makes sense to me. We have one of Matt Fury's meme in the top 10 Pepe, which just broke a 7.1 four billion dollar market and it makes sense to have his best friend brett who's on arguably the best chain to be on which is the base chain join the rankings and potentially be in the top five here in 2024 save this video to watch it at a future date and remind me but i do believe that brett will be at a 10 plus billion dollar market cap in 2025 that's the video if you're part of the brett community let me know your thoughts in the comments below and as always i appreciate you guys for watching and we'll see you all on the next episode